All right, guys, today we're taking a look at Rode's latest RodeLink Filmmaker Wireless Audio System. So this is a wireless mic system, wireless body pack. Um, here's the cover and comes in a really nice box. I don't need to show you how to unbox it, but I'll show you what comes in the box. You have your receiver, transmitter, something for the cold shoe, I believe, the fuzzy for the lab mic. You get the 3.5 cable that connects to your camera. You have these tools here. Now these tools are to remove the adapter on the lab mic, and I'll show you that in a second. A little quick start guide. This is the lab mic, and then everything comes in a little pouch. Now the reason why you need a set of tools uh, for this microphone is that they give you the lab mic that comes with the Micon connector. So the Micon connector, if you're not familiar with Rode, is you can actually remove these connectors and use this lab with another system by buying optional uh, Micon connectors. Now the one that it comes with is a uh, locking TRS adapter and uh, so the system here uses the locking lab but this lab mic can be used with other things. So for instance, I have here a Micon 5 uh, from Rode, which is an XLR adapter. So this lab mic can use, be used on um, XLR and be powered through phantom power as well. So right now you use plug-in power, but here you can use phantom power if you're using an XLR to some other device. But for this wireless body pack, you're gonna use this lab mic, the locking TRS Micon connector, and then here it is. So let's just take a quick look at it. Um, I'll give you some audio samples at some point, but it sounds really good. Very simple to use. You can see this is the receiver here that goes on your camera. So this LCD screen will be facing you. So when you mount this to your camera, this is facing backwards towards uh, the back of the camera so that you could see this. So what we'll do is um, let's open this up. On the bottom here, you have a little push button and that's where your battery goes. You just gotta pull this all the way down. And you notice on the transmitter here, you can uh, increase the gain on your microphone from zero, 10 to 20 dBs. And then you have this little link button over here. I'll show you how to do that. And then on the receiver here, you have your channel. You can mute uh, the transmitter remotely, power button, drop this down. This one you can actually attenuate. So if your microphone, whatever microphone you're using, probably the Rode one, if you're set to zero, but your volume is still too much, um, you can attenuate here by doing negative 10 or negative 20. If your volume is too low from your subject, you can set this to zero, and then you can use the gain here, 10 and 20. So this is sort of like, kind of like a preamp, which is gonna sound better boosting the signal than, than using your camera to boost the signal. Um, anyways, so the receiver, same thing, battery all the way at the bottom. So let's just turn this guy on. So let's turn on this uh, transmitter here. You'll notice that it's blinking. And then you have a green light here on the power button. And then we hold this down. You'll notice that the screen powers up. And then you can immediately see the battery on the uh, receiver. And then we, once it's linked up, we see the battery on the transmitter. So. I don't know if you can see that, but now you have an RX and a TX. When it wasn't synced up, all you saw was the RX, which is the receiver battery. But now that we see the transmitter, we see the transmitter battery power here. And channel eight, that's it, it's ready to go. Um, so what we do is we will plug in the lab mic here. And then we would lock the, use the locking TRS. And here you should be able to see Let's see if we can get this to work. I'm trying to juggle this right now. Uh, if I could show you the screen. Okay, we have volume. So if I tap on this microphone, you'll notice that the volume is showing up over here. And once again, if, I, if my volume was too low, I can always do some adjustments here by increasing the gain. Now, the little indication here, the green light, you'll notice if I set this to plus 20 dB. Um, if you see this light go red for a second, um, that means there's possibly some distortion coming out of your signal. So uh, let me see if I could show that to you.
So I'm purposely going to uh, scream in this microphone. And you'll see the little red light, and that shows you that um, there's some distortion. So that means that there's distortion. Now, if you press this one time and it stays red, um, this is in the mute position. So this transmitter is muted. So if your subject happens to go to the bathroom and they want to mute their body pack, they can just hit this right here um, and that will be mute. And then you press it again, it'll go back green. And then obviously you don't want it to distort. We'll put it back to zero. So very easy to read um, these indications right here. Now on the opposite end here on this uh, receiver, we also have a mute button here. So if you can see the green light, see if I hold that. If I hit the mute button on the receiver, you'll notice that that red light goes on. So the subject knows that they've been muted as well. And then you can unmute it over here. And then your channel here is uh, two switch channels. Now they automatically sync up, but to sync these units up, if you have to, you could press this red button over here. That's uh, underneath this body pack. Remember this closes up, but we have it open right now. We can press this red button. We can change channels. So we'll say channel three. And then all we have to do is hit the red button here on the transmitter and they were both synced up to three. And so if I scream back in this microphone, you'll see that we'll have some levels there. Test, 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 test. So very easy to use, very easy to operate. Um, pretty straightforward. It is kind of in a plastic body, but they do feel very durable. Um, you notice that they are pretty good size though. It's about the size of my palms here. Hey guys, we're out here outdoors testing out the Rode Link Filmmaker Wireless Audio System. Um, I'm going to try to get back to that fence over there, which is approximately three to 400 feet away. Uh, we just want to test the range. I know there's not a lot of wireless interference here as if we were like indoors, but we didn't want to film where there was a lot of people. So we're just going to test it outdoors here. It's a fairly windy day. I'm not sure if you could hear the wind, but we do have the furry on here. So um, hopefully you guys could hear that uh, and uh, the wind's not too bothersome. But I'm just going to back up. And as I back up, I'm just going to keep talking. And my camera operator over there is going to give me a thumbs down or some sort of hand signal if the signal drops or if we get some interference. So I'm just backing up away from the camera slowly. And I'm just going to keep talking. Hopefully the audio just keeps continuing. Um, anyways, this is a, a new kit. They started shipping this week, probably Monday. Um, I'm not sure if they still have the same pricing, but uh, it was under $400, I believe. So a very, very affordable wireless kit. And from my test earlier, sounds really great. They provide you guys with a really good solid lab mic. Um, they offer it with the MyCon connector. So that means you can use this lab mic with other things like an XLR or basic 3.5 because right now it comes with a locking TRS. Um, and they also have some other Micon adapters out there so you could use it with other systems. But um, anyways, it's a, it's a really nice piece of kit. The body is larger than the other wireless kits, but uh, it's not as heavy, I would say. So even though it's larger, it still feels pretty lightweight. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, so far seems to be pretty good. My camera operator is not giving me any kind of hand signals that the audio has dropped. So I'm assuming that at this point it's still working properly. I don't know if you guys could even see me on camera right now, but I'm almost at the end of my road here, just backing up all the way to this fence. So is audio still good? Thumbs up? Yep, thumbs up. All right, guys, so that's it. That's a quick test of the Roadlink Filmmaker Wireless Audio System Kit. Uh, we got back about three or 400 feet away. Now, I know we're not in a convention where there's a lot of interference, but we didn't want to work around where there's a lot of people. Um, but outdoors here, we're probably never going to use it at that distance at all. Anyways, this is a great piece of kit. Good sounding audio, comes with a lot of accessories um, and it's expandable. You know, obviously this mic can be used with other systems. Uh, very simple, easy for anybody to use, no confusion. Uh, and for more information about this stuff, check it out at the site, cheesycam.com.